Kegel Master is quick. It's discreet. Because you get feedback, you know it's working. Um, it builds your confidence level. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone having problems. Don't take that step to diapers. <laughs> it's not necessary. This is a way for you to avoid that for the rest of your life. When I heard about the Kegel Master, I thought, well, there's a way that I can possibly improve uh, my situation because the doctor didn't seem to feel that another surgery was the answer. If you're watching this video, it means you've made an exciting and important purchase, the Kegel Master. I'd like to congratulate you for taking this step toward helping your body and achieving a renewed sense of confidence and freedom. This tasteful video is going to explain the various parts of the device, what they are and what they do, and also provide instructions for operating the Kegel Master. After that, we'll be answering some of the most frequently asked questions about the Kegel Master. There are three basic parts to this video. In part one, I'll explain how to set up, care for, and use your Kegel Master. In part two, I'll answer some of the most frequently asked questions. And part three is an expanded version of a doctor-guided group discussion about the Kegel Master. We recommend that you watch the instructional segments of the video all the way through before trying out your Kegel Master for the first time. It'll only take about 10 minutes. This will help you be familiar with the proper setup and use. And we also highly recommend the group discussion at the end because it will help you feel more knowledgeable and confident about your body and your Kegel Master. Before we begin, please take a moment to listen to the following important medical information. It's great that you've chosen to do something to help your body. I'd like to go over a few important points about the Kegel Master. The Kegel Master is FDA approved, so you can be confident you're getting a safe, tested product, but not everyone should use the Kegel Master. Women in their first trimester of pregnancy and new moms who are less than six weeks postpartum should not use the Kegel Master. The device is designed to be safe for pregnant women in their second and third trimesters, but always consult your physician prior to starting use. Women who've had any pelvic surgery should also wait at least six weeks and consult with their physician before beginning use. Women using intravaginal devices such as a pessary or a diaphragm should not use the Kegel Master. The Kegel Master is safe to use on your period, but you should not use tampons while you're doing your Kegel Master exercises. It is safe to use the Kegel Master if you use an IUD. And don't be alarmed if you notice a bit of spotting when you first start using this device. This is especially common in menopausal women. And as with the use of any medical device, stay in tune with your body. If you have any concerns, discontinue use until you feel confident that your questions have been answered. All right, let's get started. You may want to have your Kegel Master with you so you can try putting it together as I explain the different pieces. When you open your box, you should find one, the Kegel Master, two, four springs made of surgical grade stainless steel, three, a log for recording your bladder habits, four, a custom carry case or satin travel pouch, and five, the instruction booklet. We encourage you to read through the instruction booklet to reinforce what you're going to learn by watching this video. First, let's try putting the Kegel Master together. You'll find a knob on the side of the plastic unit. Unscrew this knob by turning it counterclockwise. The knob will come all the way off the screw. Set the knob to the side. Now you can open and close the Kegel Master freely. The bottom is a hinge. The unit does not come completely apart. The hinge is designed to help ensure that the pegs will always line up correctly and easily. When your Kegel Master is open, you'll notice that each interior side has four plastic posts. Each post matches up with one on the other side when the unit is closed. So, starting at post one, this is post two, three, and four. It's time to add the springs that will give you the crucial resistance your muscles need to tone up. Take any of the four springs that came with the unit and slip one over post number one, the post closest to the hinge. It should reach all the way to the bottom of the post. Fold your Kegel Master closed. You'll need to guide the other end of the spring onto the matching post in order to close the unit properly. Do you feel the springiness? That's the resistance that's going to help you tone your muscles. While holding the unit closed, 
screw the knob back into place. Prior to using the Kegel Master, you'll want to screw the knob down until it stops naturally. If you were preparing for a Kegel Master session, you'd be ready to go. But before we discuss how to operate the Kegel Master, let me show you what we mean when we say 15 levels of resistance. First, unscrew the knob about eight turns. Because of the spring inside, the Kegel Master now wants to separate. Try closing it and then letting it open again. The effort you have to put forth to close it is the resistance. Right now, with one spring on the first peg, you're experiencing level one of the 15 levels. That's exactly where you're going to want to start when you begin using the Kegel Master. But with consistent use, it won't be long before you're ready to move up to the next level. The instruction booklet lists the various tension settings in order from the least resistance to the highest level. Basically, we achieve greater resistance by adding springs in different positions. So, for instance, when you've completed level one and are ready to move on to level two, you're simply going to move the single spring from peg one to peg two. To remove a spring, simply hold onto the side of it while opening the unit. Use care when removing the springs, especially from peg one. Part of what makes them such a great part of the device is their springy nature. You don't want them to go flying. Then move it up one peg. Remember that the springs are always going to be on matching pegs. That means you never want to use a spring to connect peg one on one side with peg two on the other. As your muscles get more toned and you move up through the resistance levels, you'll need to consult your instruction booklet for proper spring placement. You're going to be using different combinations of springs on different pegs, so you don't want to just wing it. Now that you understand how the Kegel Master is put together, let's go over how to use it. Before your first use, you'll want to hand wash it in warm water with a mild soap. The knob and springs are made of surgical grade stainless steel, which means that in addition to being completely safe to use inside your body, they won't rust or corrode. The first step is to add springs to match your current level of resistance. Today, we'll start with one spring on post one. So, just open the unit, place a spring on the first post, match it up with the other side, and close the Kegel Master. Screw the knob on so the two sides are touching. That means the Kegel Master is in the closed position. Find a position that's comfortable for you. Most women like to lie on their backs with their knees bent and their feet flat, about two feet apart. Lubrication is a crucial step because it makes insertion and removal easier. You'll need a water-soluble, not an oil-based lubricant. Lubricate the vaginal area and the first three inches of the Kegel Master from the tip to what we call the flare. You're never going to insert the unit more than is comfortable for you and never pass the flare. Be sure that the unit is completely closed and then insert it knob side up into your vaginal opening until it's firmly in place. It's designed to stop automatically at the flare. Now at this point some women feel the natural urge to do an abdominal push but this isn't a Kegel exercise. In fact, it can even cause the Kegel Master to slip out. So, to prevent this, use your hand to hold the unit in place until you are comfortable doing proper Kegel contractions. The motion you'll want is a squeeze, not a push. With the Kegel Master inserted and the knob loosened to allow for resistance, you're ready to begin your exercise program. Try using your vaginal muscles to squeeze the Kegel Master closed. Focus only on using your vaginal muscles, not your abdominals or gluteal muscles. Count to two and release. If you're able to move the Kegel Master, you're on the right setting and you're doing the right exercises. But if you aren't getting movement, you need to try reducing or increasing your resistance until you feel slight pressure against the vaginal opening. Remember, you don't want to try too many springs at first. The idea is to get as much movement from the Kegel Master as possible. And it doesn't have to close completely to benefit you. You can do as few or as many sets and reps as you wish, 
but we typically recommend three sets of 30 contractions. You can count. One, one, two, release. Two, one, two, release. And you can monitor the base of the Kegel Master and feel the unit closing. When you've finished, tighten the knob by turning it clockwise until the Kegel Master is in the closed position. And then gently twist from side to side and slowly pull straight back until the unit is removed. Remember to hand wash your Kegel Master with a mild soap between each use. And make sure it's completely dry before you put it away for the day. Well, those are the simple steps that are going to help you get your muscles back in shape. It only takes minutes a day, but using the Kegel Master can change your life. If you've purchased the Kegel Master to help with a urinary incontinence problem, we recommend that you photocopy the bladder habit diary and use it on a weekly or monthly basis to track changes in your bathroom habits. Now, I'm going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about the Kegel Master. Who should not use the Kegel Master? The Kegel Master should not be used during the first six weeks after giving birth. However, some pregnant women use it to help prepare for childbirth. But always consult your physician first. Also, women who have had genital urinary or any other pelvic surgical procedure should also wait six weeks before using the Kegel Master unless given specific instructions by their physicians. The Kegel Master shouldn't be used simultaneously with intravaginal devices such as tampons, diaphragms, or pessaries. How will I know it's working? During use, you'll know the Kegel Master is working because you'll feel the unit contract. In your daily life, you'll know the Kegel Master is working because you'll experience a reduction in urinary incontinence and increased sensation during sex. How long will I need to use the Kegel Master? Your pelvic floor muscles are like any other muscle in your body. If you leave them alone too long, they'll become weaker or atrophy. So, even once you've treated the condition that you originally bought the Kegel Master for, it can only help to keep using it on a regular basis. It's very important to remember to use the Kegel Master every day at the beginning of your exercise program. Once you've achieved the results you want in alleviating incontinence or achieving increased sensation, then you can determine how often you need to use a Kegel Master to maintain the health of these important muscles. Can the Kegel Master open too wide inside my body? As long as you're comfortable and you can use your vaginal muscles to contract the unit, you don't need to worry about the Kegel Master being open too wide. Stretching is actually good for the muscles. Just be sure you control the settings so the Kegel Master never causes you pain. And the Kegel Master will never make the vaginal area larger or stretched out. What if I experience spotting while using the Kegel Master? A small amount of spotting, especially for women who are menopausal, postmenopausal, or have been sexually inactive for a long time, is normal. Continued use of the Kegel Master will strengthen and tone your muscles and will eliminate the spotting. If you experience extended spotting or more intense bleeding for more than a week, discontinue use and consult your physician. Pregnant women who experience spotting should discontinue use until advised by a doctor. If you have more questions, call the toll-free number you'll find in the instruction booklet and a female customer service representative will be happy to talk to you. Listen, it's no secret this device and the issues that probably led you to order it are considered somewhat taboo in our society. The bad news is there are millions of women who are struggling with the misery, self-consciousness, and embarrassment of urinary incontinence, or the frustration of a diminished sex life. But here's the good news. You've taken a major step in enhancing your own life. You're going to be impressed by the results you see in a short time, and you'll be amazed at the results after 30 days of use. And you now have the power and the knowledge to help others. Think about women you know who might be suffering in silence. Let them know that there's hope. You can be a positive force in your own life and the lives of women around you. Thank you so much. And remember to take time to take care of yourself. You're important to your family. The Kegel Master has just given me wonderful uh, ability to know that I'm not going to have those 
uh, spells of incontinence. The Kegel Master is excellent for women who want to strengthen their pelvic floor and enhance their sex life. Using the Kegel Master has, has made my sex life a whole lot more pleasurable than it was before. Now that you've learned all about your Kegel Master device and how to use it, I'd like to strongly encourage you to watch the group discussion that comes next. Knowledge is power, and this doctor-guided discussion will teach you so much about your body and muscles. As women, we need to be aware of our bodies and our feelings. We need to take care of ourselves, not just to keep ourselves in shape physically, but to ensure our emotional well-being. These women were so pleased with the results they saw from using the Kegel Master that they agreed to sit down and talk frankly about their personal experiences with it. After the birth of my son, I was feeling very insecure and very... I, I was a dancer and I had very strong muscles and I did all my prenatal Kegel exercises and I was very disappointed at what happened and I saw the brochure and I was like, I need to... I need to get it back. Good. And Kathy? Well, as I was uh, getting older, I was uh, in menopause and starting to worry about, you know, how that was going to affect my sex life and uh, saw the Kegel Master and wanted to do anything I could to, you know, keep that part of my life satisfying. It's an important part for both me and my husband and, and so we thought, I thought I would give it a try. And Tammy? Well, after my second childbirth, um, which was 10 years ago, I had a very hard childbirth and I didn't come back to my normal weight or contract my muscles or anything like that so the leakage got worse and I saw the Kegel Master and I tried it and it's helped to strengthen my muscles and also my abdominal muscles have gotten a lot stronger also because of it and my sex life is much better. Has it improved your confidence oh. in terms of having sex with your husband? Absolutely, because, you know, getting older and you start to worry about it. You start to worry about whether you're still attractive, whether you're mm -hmm. still desirable. Mm -hmm. And, yes, it's increased my confidence a lot. You know, mm -hmm. he tells me how different sex is now since when I, from before when I started, wasn't using the, the Kegel Master. So, yeah, I feel real confident. It's helped me to reconnect with my muscles and it's helped with uh, the slight incontinence I had and with, with sexual pleasure also. Oh, my confidence is it's extremely high, I must say, because if I sneeze and I don't have a leakage, that is like heaven to me. My feeling from a physician's point of view is I don't want you coming to me telling me fix my stress urinary incontinence. I want you to try something like this before because more than 90% of the time you will not need to go to surgery if you use a Kegel Master. That is the way it is. It has been proven in prospective randomized trials that you have to have resistance in the vagina in order for you to understand how good a Kegels are you doing. You know, how, uh, I mean, are you really doing it and are you doing it right? So when you put this in, it should feel a little tight, a little resistance against the vaginal walls on purpose. Then you relax against that tension and then squeeze it up. And as you do that, then you are actually realizing that you're closing the device so you're doing something as opposed to you may be doing kegels like you were discussing just trying to sit in a chair do it you know or I think I can do it I think I can do it you know and not knowing whether you're doing it right now when you're sitting here all by yourself can you can do it and get the right muscles to work right but before that those. period of time if you learn it from some instructor somewhere who just says tighten it most people are just tightening their butt they're not actually learning how to tighten their vaginal muscles one of the reasons why you have decreased sexual function sometimes after you have a baby or when you reach the postmenopausal area is because the muscles around the vagina and up around the clitoris and that vasculature is decreased. So one of the ways that you can increase is by using the Kegel Master. You increase the strength of your muscles, you increase the blood flow to the area, you increase the blood flow to the clitoris, and the clitoris is a spongy material. The reason why it increases in size and responds at all is because it has increased blood flow to it. So the more you increase your blood flow to the muscles in the local area, the more you're going to increase the blood flow to the clitoral area. So that's the reason why your sexual satisfaction and your ability to have an orgasm, the orgasms are better, they last longer, you're a little more sensitive to the whole entire process. And there's been studies done with women who um, have never ever had an orgasm that if you teach them how to increase their blood flow to that area, area they will learn how to have orgasms. From a physician's point of view when they first brought me the Kegel Master I thought 
there is no better way to introduce to someone. I, what I usually do is, at that six-week visit, I do your pelvic exam and I put my fingers in the vagina and ask you to tighten and then see how well can you do that. Mm -hmm. And if you're really kind of on your way to that and you can really get it to squeeze pretty good, then I'm okay with that. Otherwise, I make them start to do Kegels exercises on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But now I have a device that I can actually recommend to them that's FDA approved that they can use and take home and you use it for a while it works great you forget to use it you know exactly how to re-strengthen your muscles again mm -hmm. and do it in a proper manner so from a physician's point of view it's a great thing to have in a doctor's office I'd like to congratulate you for taking this step toward helping your body and achieving a renewed sense of confidence and freedom